For unseating propeller from the tail shaft, the cover plates and cap are removed first. The pilgrim nut is removed and fitted back on the tail shaft with the loading ring facing outwards. A backing plate is tightened to the propeller hub using withdrawal studs. The gap between the hub and the nut is filled with wooden blocks to absorb the shock. Pressurized hydraulic fluid is forced into the pilgrim nut through the hydraulic hose. The nitrile tire pushed the loading ring outward against the backing plate. The propeller hub comes out of the tail shaft. The backing plate and the pilgrim nut are removed. Propeller shaft is withdrawn and mating surfaces of the propeller and tail shaft are inspected. Propeller is mounted on the tail shaft without damaging tail shaft threads. The pilgrim nut is fitted back with the loading ring facing inwards. A hydraulic hose from the pump is connected to the pilgrim nut. Pressure is applied on the pilgrim nut as specified in the push on pressure charts. These charts give estimates of the pressure to be applied on the pilgrim nut to achieve the required advance. Advance of the propeller is measured using a dial indicator. The advance achieved versus the pressure applied to the pilgrim nuts is plotted on the installation data chart. The data points tend to form a straight line. Three data points are obtained from them which fall on a straight line. A line is projected back to the zero pressure axis to determine the initial seated position. Seating of the propeller and plotting of its advance continues until the actual advance equals the required advance. If the plot does not continue in a smooth straight line, it indicates that the movement of propeller is restricted. The restriction is due to misalignment of propeller and tail shaft. The propeller is removed and the fault is rectified before continuing the seating process. Once the required advance is achieved, reduce the hydraulic pressure. Tighten the pilgrim nut so that it is flushed with the propeller hub. Fix back the cap and the cover plates.